All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to probably the last episode of the Enchanted Cave 2 uh, in this playthrough. Uh, and, well, we are about to head back into this cave. I should probably grind a little bit more, honestly, before I get back down to 490. I should probably just grind at 460 all the way down to 90 and get some gold, get some gear, get some loot, and then see where that takes me. But you know what? What if I just went for it? Because I'm, I'm I'm dirt poor right now. I'm going to grind a little bit, okay, guys? And I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, guys, what is up? We are back here at floor 94. And, oh, my God, I just, got, I just found two hero helmets. Excellent. And we've just been going through here um, pretty nicely. I think this is a new lore thing. Oh, no, this is the same room that I found beforehand. So we are going to get really close to the demon boss here. But I don't even know if I'm ready to fight it yet. I feel like I'm not yet ready to fight it. Because look at this. The dragon here is lighting me up really hard. Oh my god. Uh, oh, I got some dragon scale mail though off of the dragon. Um, I've just been sort of drinking sort of looting potions and EXP potions. Just to just grind as much EXP as possible off of basically as many things that dealt as little damage to me as possible. Um, and I think I can avoid these guys now. Uh, or I should. Got a large health potion over here. Now, I can probably buff up my hero helmets if I don't... Oh, I don't have any more dragon uh, dino skulls. Uh, without any more dino skulls, I can't get more armor from it. But I have 340 armor right now, so that's pretty good. It's reducing most of the damage I take down to nothing, essentially. Uh, but I'm just going to sort of click around here. Let's check, her out. check out this map here. Uh, dragon Tears. Oof, let's see what's over there up in the top. Um... This little tortured spirit here doesn't really do too much damage to me, so at least we got that going for us. Uh, and you know what? I think we can probably head on down. I feel like level 100 is the boss fight, and I don't think we can actually leave if we get there. That's my only issue, and that's what I'm really scared of, because I don't think I'm ready to take him on yet right now. Um, I am not full health, and I am in a pretty bad position right now in terms of just how much uh, stats I have. And I just realized that I need to turn my sound up, because I turned it down here. I was just, when I was sort of AFK farming here, I was just watching, well not watching, I was listening to some uh, some nice creepy pasta stories in the background, you know? I really, I don't know, I've, I've started to take a real big liking to them uh, lately. Because um, they're just so, in I don't know, they're interesting. You just They just pull you in, and you feel like you can't stop listening, you can't stop watching, you know? Um, so I'll say, I just picked up a ghostly miss. What is that? Ah, yes, that gives me a very large amount of dark defense. I got a boost ring. Let's look at this. Plus 15% EXP. Ooh, that's a really nice ring. Um, let's see. Like this is these are most of the end game items here. I'm gonna try maybe just hammer my way through here. There we go. I got some void boots. Oh, those are some nice boots. Let's see, what do they give me? 37 armor and four. Dark resistance. Okay, so I will lose uh, some of the holy resistance that I have right now. I think that should be fine. Uh, I'll probably equip them later when I have a chance to actually enchant. Let's see. Should I? Let's see. Because I lose, I lose some of the dark resist, but I have so much dark resist that the only thing that'll be bad for is um, the tortured spirits. I think. Like these guys here, they don't really do much. Uh, tortured spirits will deal more damage to me. Than normal, but that should be fine. I kind of want to scan this map here, just to see what's available. Mm, not much available. Okay, so I'm not going to scan any. I'm just going to leave, and let's go to the next floor. Okay, we got a lot of dragons, a lot of dark wyverns here. Ooh, crystal sword. Let's see. This does uh literally all types of damage. That's pretty nice. Mm, and I think it's actually stronger than the hero sword that I have right now. I might decide to keep this later. Uh, by transmuting it, uh, and oh my god, there is a gold dragon, oh my god, the gold dragon does so much damage too, look at that, 410 and 60, 60 on each, that's like what, a hundred and, like, 530 damage, I'm gonna pickaxe my way through here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go for a hard pass on that dragon here, uh, hopefully I can get to uh, a next level, like just get a level up here, uh, before I can uh, maybe just get out of the caves here. Yeah, like these things I can fight quite nicely because they don't really do too much damage to me. And over here, okay, there we go. Torture Spirits, Dragon Blood. I can try and transmute as much as I can before I have to leave. Uh, let's eat a large health pot here. 
Oh my god, this has 100 damage. The Emerald Dragon does so much damage. I basically just have to eat a health pot every time I try and fight it. Uh, and I think I'm... Yeah, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle to the next floor. And there we go. Large Magic Potion. Chop our way to this Wyvern here. There we go. I'm not even going to bother trying to fight this Gold Dragon here. Oh my god, let's have a look here at how powerful it is. Let's see, Emerald Dragon is 1.3k HP. This guy's 1.5k HP. Is it stronger than the spider that we fought here? Oh my god. The spider here is 600 health. It is so much. The dragons are so much stronger than the spiders. An old citizen of the cave that fiercely guards its hoard of treasures. Jesus, the dragon's stronger than the spider. Dragon's stronger than the yeti, too. Which was a boss, too. Holy. It just speaks to how much more dangerous um, the cave has gotten uh, now that we're down here. Uh, oh, we got a multi gem here. I'm gonna go for a defense actually, because I think um, as long as I have enough armor, I can stay alive against basically everything. Uh, but there's so much loot down here. I'm gonna drink another pot. Take these life shosses, and let's take this rare box here. What's in here? We got some hero gauntlets. Oh, what do we get from this? Uh, some life steel. We get some more uh, armor stats, but the current uh, gloves that I'm wearing here gives me a lot more general resistances, but I think the general resistances that I want right now is just fire, holy, and dark. I mean, that's all I really want here. And let's just chop through this dark wyvern here. Yeah, it's like, there's a lot of fire damage, a lot of, a lot of dark damage, a lot of holy damage, so I just gotta make sure I get resistances for that. And I should be fine. Um, but I feel like level 100 might be the Demon King. So I don't think I want to go there. I don't think I want to go there. Um, yet. Yet. Because I don't know if there's any going back once you get there. I don't know. Or maybe we can just we can just take the fight. I don't know. Um, just we can just try and preserve as much as we can here. And let's go down to level 99. Oh, there's a hidden cave here. Let's just fight this Emerald Drake here. It does 89 damage to us. Most of it's probably the wind damage, actually. I don't have too much wind resistance. 24. I got a boost ring, monster soul, life shosses, large magic pot, and what's over here. 9,999 today. I only need one more. There seems to be only one fool still exploring this place. I think a personal visit may be or may be in order. Floor 80 seems like a good place to finish this. So I guess that one fool was me, but unfortunately I killed him. I have what you need. Want to take a look? Oh my god, we got the flame down here. We got the hero's defender. Hero defender. Um, That shield is actually better than the lunar shield, so I think I'm going to take it. I'm going to buy this. Um, buy this. I already have a hero helmet. Dragon scale mail. Infernal gauntlets. I'm gonna compare this to my wizard gauntlets here. Ooh, this looks... I don't know, it's more aggressively statted. Um, but it does have a nice a defense boost, and I can easily give it these defensive tools if I need to. So I'm gonna buy this as well. I'm gonna quick sell my junk here. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of my crystal... I wanna keep the crystal swords, but I think everything else is just junk I can toss. There we go. And let's see. I'm gonna try. Okay, I don't know if I want to move forward here. I don't know what awaits me up ahead. Um, because if I say if I die in the boss fight, it's it's game over. Like this entire run, this entire run is over. Um, so I don't know if it's worth it. Okay, there we go. I leveled up here. I'm gonna get some more defensive skills. There we go. And I got some more skill points over here. My skill tree is looking pretty nice now. Get some attack over here, and I got some HP over there. Uh, there we go, 499. I'm pretty sure the boss appears at 4100, though. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Ah, oh, jeez. Should I go there? Should I go there? I think I think I have an opportunity to back away if I go there. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, let's get out of here. Uh, hold on, I'm going to transmute the Crystal Sword, and I'm going to transmute some of these tools here, um, or, or these um, utility items for enchantment here. So I think I want to keep... What do I want to keep? Um, I think I want to keep the Ghostly Mist, because I think the Ghostly Mist it gives me dark defense. Um, and I want to keep maybe the Dragon Tears, maybe the Monster Soul, uh, Cyclops Tears, Ogre Tears... Heart of Darkness. What do I want to keep here? Uh, Void Weed's probably not worth it. 
I'll probably keep the golden yarn here, and I'll probably keep this ogre tears item drop chance. The cyclops tears gives me more attack damage, but I probably don't need those. And let's see what else. I can probably keep my potions with me too, if I remember correctly. Here, I'm gonna drink my potions here. I think I can transmute my potions. Yeah, I can keep my large health potions. I can bring them for the ride for next time. There we go, look at that. Uh, I'm gonna drink my large magic potion again. I'm gonna transmute all of these health pots here. There we go. Um, I'm gonna transmute some of the large magic health potions as well. There we go. I'm gonna drink that. Transmute this. So now I can uh, uh, keep all of this stuff here. There we go, and, uh-oh, I think I probably should have drank these. Let's go. Um, uh-oh, hockey, hockeys. Uh, there we go, drink that, and I can transmute one of these normal size health potions. There we go. I'm gonna try and just dig my way over here. And, well, let's take the escape wings out of here. And there we go, that was a pretty successful run. I'm gonna get inside here, put to my museum here. I'm gonna put down some of our stuff that I discovered. Uh, let's see, what stuff did I discover? What's a new sword? A golden dagger, 20% gold, uh, blizzard dagger. Crystal sword seems to not be the final thing. Uh, I'm gonna want to use the hero defender, so I'm probably not gonna try and put it away in here. There is one hero helmet though, so, oh, I guess the hero helmet is the final tier. Huh, I guess I still haven't found the hero chest plate tier. Uh, Royal Boots over here. Hero Gauntlets, I do want to use, I think. Hero Gauntlets, Inferno Gauntlets, yeah. I'm going to want to use the Hero Gauntlets here. Hero Gauntlets are so much stronger. And then for the rings here, I can probably put down a Boost Ring. Um, blood Ring. The Blood Rings are quite uh, attack damage focused, but I don't think I need that right now. And let's just go in here, check up on our guide that we completed a quest for. Heck of a storm going on. Let's see, because I think he's going to brew me a nice potion here. Here it is. Ultimate HP potion. Let's see, what does it do? What does it do? Ultimate ultimate HP potion. 1,000 HP. Holy. I don't even have that much health. Okay, well, I mean, I can use that for... um, I can use that for my final boss battle here. Uh, but let's go into here. So I can, I can start on floor 90, uh, which I guess I'll do. And let's go to shop here. And I think we're gonna try and we're gonna try and confront the boss this time. Um, there's there's nothing else we can do, right? Um, there's only so much uh, extra farming and other stuff is gonna do for us here. Uh, so let's see if I can set up my equipment properly here. Um, if I can swap over here and have a look at all our opponents here. So the gold dragon here does 60 holy, 60 fire, and 100. So if I can get 60 holy, 60 fire. And 100. I don't even know if I can get to that much resistance uh, in terms of those stats here. So let's just see here. I'm going to pop on my hero helmet. Um, Demon Shosses probably don't want those uh, by comparison to the Life Shosses. Yeah, Life Shosses are still pretty good. Um, hero Gauntlets are going to cause me to lose some stats if I put those on, but that's okay. Loot Ring, not going to use those. Uh, Dragon Scale Mail will actually give me some more resistance here. Actually, you know what, this this is good. This is a good amount of resistance off of the King's King's uh, stuff here. And Hero Sword, while useful, I think I'm gonna use Crystal Sword here. Um, Crystal Sword will benefit me from most of the things here. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna try and enchant my items here. So I'm gonna enchant this so I get some more darkness defense. Dark defense there, there we go. There we go, that's got 10 dark defense now, but I also want some, I think I need some unicorn poop to get some uh, light defense, but I don't think there's any, there's only one bit of unicorn poop on sale here. Ooh, that's gonna be rough. Um, let's go over here, and where is it? Enchant this with some light defense. There we go, 48 light defense, 78 dark, and I need to get some more fire defense. Um, void boots here have 4% dodge chance. Uh, do I have anything that's fire defense here? I don't think so. Um, let's have a look here. Let's have a look at some of the enchanting ingredients here. Uh, dragon blood, fire attack. Uh, don't want fire attack. Or don't need fire attack. Item drop chance, EXP bonus. Uh, EXP bonus, fire attack. 
dodge chance, uh, dark defense. I mean, I guess I could just buy some more of these for dark defense. And then try and go for some more light defense, I guess? I don't know. Uh, or maybe I can try and like min-max the system here. Maybe I can do something funky. Um, I think I have an idea of how I can min-max here. Um, let's go and enchant this over here. Give it some more dark defense. There we go. I have so much dark defense now. I need some fire defense. Um, let's let's just check this out here. All right. So there we go. I'm gonna do some min maxing. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I've just cleared through everything, and we are basically here at the boss fight. I'm gonna use this mana potion to heal myself up all the way, top myself up nicely, and let's go find let's go fight the demon. I have been summoned. The souls of 1,000 warriors flow within me. You dare to challenge me. I don't think I can escape anymore. I think I'm just stuck here. And it's the boss fight. Let's go. Oh my god, look at the size of that thing. Holy! Look at that demon. It's massive. Oh my god. Do I have enough health pots for this? Oh my god. I'm taking a lot of damage here. I'm gonna use the small ones first. Whew. I don't think I deal enough damage to this guy. Oh no. I can't run from this guy. I have to fight him all the way. Let's see. So there's all my health pots right there. So there's all my small ones. Oof. I guess I just gotta keep drinking health pots. Let's see. Holy. I definitely don't have enough defensive stats for this. Oh my god. Let's see. I'm gonna use my heal. Until I run out of mana here. Getting mana points back. This is gonna be a tough fight. But it looks like I think we we actually got him. We actually got him. This demon is out of HP. But I am not out of pots and I'm not out of healing magic. Oh man, let's go. It's over. There we go. Easy clap. We set this demon back to the pit. There we go, floor 100 is conquered. Game completed. The enchantment remains, but the, the danger of it is gone. New game plus unlocked. Keep all your stuff and play through again, but with much tougher monsters. Ooh, oh my god, I got Ragnarok. Let's see. Holy, keep all your stuff, but with much tougher monsters. I will happily equip Ragnarok here. Although I lose some of my wind resistance. Damn. And that's it. That's the game. Welcome to the Enchanted Cave 2 playthrough. New game plus, probably, I'm not going to play it um, as, an, as a thing. Uh, the monsters just get really, really tough and healthy. Uh, I, might put the, I might play this on the side um, for fun. But yeah, thanks for taking this journey with me. If you guys would like to see me, uh, would like me to play um, the Enchanted Cave 2 uh, on New Game Plus, be sure to leave a few likes. Uh, how about this? Let's let's go for <laughs> I don't know my channel's not really that big so let's go for twenty five likes and we'll go for Enchanted Cave two and until then I will see you guys next time.